Hello, this is Bruno Pelletier Backer coming back with another shuffle in G. Um, this variation today is actually even pretty close to the, the, the last one we saw. Uh, so let me do it and then, uh, then I'll, I'll explain. So, uh, one, two, three, four. This one is pretty busy, and um, I was about to turn off the um, the video. Can you believe that? I was. You caught me. You caught me. I was just reaching to my. No, um, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I thought I. Oh yeah, I just finished the pattern. Let's turn off as if I had the metronome on or something. Okay, so we're 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 back. We're back. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. All right. No, I'm not going to shoot it again. This is good enough, all right? Um, so, let's see. The pattern is... Um, what actually happens, I have that same sharp 90 to the third as I did with the previous video, except I'm not slurring to that one for one thing. And... like this. One and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Of course, same thing when we get to the C. So one and two and three and four and 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 so here not directly onto the D. One and two The previous one, this one has this uninterrupted picking pattern down, 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 like this, okay? And you notice here when you go back to get your A sharp, there is a bit of a stretch in this position. Because I don't want to leave that note too soon, right? So you need to hang on to all of your notes. Okay? Now, um, when you play this with a metronome, I'll do it with a metronome. One, two, three, four. You can also do so. I have I'm on 120 here, and um, I have the clicks on every beat. And what I'm gonna do, so I'm thinking 4-4 four, four, obviously, and I'm lowering sticks. No, I'm going up. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, it's not my it's not my day today. All right. Okay, so I'm lowering. I'm going down from 120, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna cut that in half. So I'm gonna go all the way down to 60, and. Uh, Nothing happens if I press the button down, so I'll just have to go one increment at a time. Awesome, I guess. 60. So, two things I could do here. I'm going to think the same tempo, and I could put my clicks on two and four. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and so on, right? 
Um, but we could also see what happens if we were p placing those same clicks on beats one and three. So it'd be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's a very different feel and um, I personally prefer to have it in two and four because it gives me that back beat which is pretty uh, essential to the shuffle but uh, if you can hang with it on one and three and still generate that that shuffle feel uh, then you're in good shape and this particular one there's something that I like to do also which is not exactly a shuffle anymore I guess we could argue on that uh, I'm not thinking triplets anymore uh, if I do this other way and it would be uh, How could I describe this? First of all, it's going to be staccato. So instead of making my notes last I'm going to play them short Like this, but it's more like So I have to release each note like this as soon as I play. this all in down strokes but I don't have to uh, I'm slowing down so, so you see what happens it it actually when you when you do it well and I don't think I did it particularly well right now, but when, when you tap into it, it almost starts sounding like, um, what's that called, like a tremolo effect, you know, on those amps. Well, I have, I have a Fender amp that has that tremolo. Well, I guess I'll show you what that sounds like. If I uh, open this, so that's sort of old. I'm back then. See that? Wah, 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 wah. So let me turn that off. And we could almost achieve that um, simply with the way we we uh, we play. So I'll try again. One, two, three, four. See, at times it, go, it works. Um, I don't know why I keep doing uh, all down strokes. Let me do alternate picking. So one, two, three, four. Uh. Like that. So it's a pretty interesting feeling. Uh, I think when you do that and it's actually quite hard to do you want to do it slowly and get used to that picking and release and when I do that I actually um, uh, press very lightly as you want or not hard that's not the point but here it's nice to uh, to do that very lightly you just like uh, play your note and so you just have to synchronize your picking with the the pressing down of the note it's always like that down 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 I think it's a very interesting um, uh, thing to do, and it's uh, it's a lot harder to do than it, it may seem. 
Okay, so um, stay tuned for more. I, I have no idea how many of those uh, variations I'll do, but uh, I'll, uh, I know I have a few more to show you. So uh, that's that for today. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.